So, hello and welcome to all of you to the already announced TWS demo video. Um, I know it was a really long time until we finally managed to actually record it. Ah, we. Who's there? Yeah, hello. Uh, Moritz, also, noticed as, also known as Sightless Horseman on the forum. I'm the PR person you've been talking to the last few days regarding TWS. And we thought we're going to go and record this thing together and show off what's currently possible and what's planned for the coming days and months and weeks. Yes, he's basically the one today who will ask this those questions which no programmer particularly wants to answer and basically just annoys me for the next hour <laughs> or however True. long it takes <laughs> so what's planned for today is actually we're gonna go and show off two things because um, two different trains uh, the train we are currently sitting in is a class a british class 395 javelin which is a British high-speed train actually introduced at the 2012 Olympics as a trans quick transport method between King's Cross and the Olympic Park at Stratford International with a travel time of about seven minutes. Um, we're going to show off that train on the British Southeastern high-speed route, the High Speed 1, uh, until the stop at Stratford International. And the second train we're going to go and show is a train, is a subway train by uh, Transport for London, so a tube train. Yes, that's right, and today it will actually be a tube train, not a subsurface one, because, I mean, I like the s -Star. I really do, but the announcements, yeah. <laughs> we'll see which one it will be in the end. Um, I think we should try to get this thing ready. Yeah, activating the battery or driver's cab or... Driver's cab activated. Yeah, driver's cab. That was that. <laughs> then lights. Lights. And the roof. Which currently, the lights currently don't have an on-off notifier, but that will be introduced eventually. Yeah, somehow. Pantograph raised. I'm not sure how I'll manage that, but somehow I have to kind of. <laughs> So pantograph is raised and main switch is on. That one's automatically switched on when raising the pantograph on this train. Then direction. Forward. Forward. Sounds nice, don't you think so? <laughs> yeah, sure we, we we should go forward. Like yeah, that would make sense. So <laughs> brakes released. Releasing brakes. Um selecting the target speed for the AFB. I I think it was something around 25 miles off. So. 3 miles per hour. 22 miles per hour. 25 so, miles per hour. What you can do, uh, we basically um, looked at uh, other games, other train simulation games that were available as audio games and basically took over a few ideas from, the, from those games. If you, for example, look at the F row, F1 to F12, we, decide, we decided that this should be our status monitor. If you hit F1, you get your current speed. Zero miles per hour. And F2 gives you your maximum currently allowed speed. 12 miles per hour. Yes, that's the standard speed limit when starting a route. I think it's something about 25 in reality over here. Yeah, well, if you start driving, you get uh, the speed limit for the current tr track. Um... <coughs> F5 and F6 are your timetable keys. Currently, this route doesn't have a timetable. It will get one eventually. And F7 and F8 show you the passengers on the platform and Zero. on tra on the train. 181. The tra uh, passengers are already boarded, and we have 181 persons on the train. Actually, every train you can design has a maximum passenger limit. So, if you have the train data and the number of seats, you can basically enter that into the, into the vehicle editor and have a maximum number of passengers. Yes, exactly. And that was the compressor right now. The, compre oh, the yeah, air the pressure. pressure. Starting. Um, oh. Yes. So, 
we're gonna see and uh, close the doors and well, doors closed. welcome aboard Please. the southeastern service to Dover Priory. Yes, and basically we're gonna go ahead and leave King's Cross, St. Pancras, by yep, tooting the horn and hitting tab to initiate the initiate the train. Automatic speed control activated. The speed limit is 25 miles per hour. So you're hearing you're getting the speed announce the maximum speed announcement as you hear the train speed up. Now we've reached 25 miles an hour. Or 40 kilometers per hour. If you now hit F if you hit F3, you get the distance to the next station. 10,406 yards ahead. This will eventually be modified and you will get the miles. Um, instead of yards, at least for a certain distance. Yes, has more than 5,000 yards or 2,500 yards. Simple. Doesn't make sense. As you can hear, we are traveling across some points. The speed limit is 99 miles per hour. Because to the right and to our left, there are the Eurostar platforms in reality, and so there are some points on the way. And now we have to accelerate, or are allowed to accelerate, up to 99 miles an hour. 28 miles per hour. 62 miles per hour. 93 miles per hour. 99 miles per hour. Going out of King's Cross. Or St. Pancras now. But yeah, we just they are just basically left, one we just, station. We just <laughs> no, left just... the station now are on the free on the free road, the free track and we're gonna speed up. Yeah. We're going to enter a tunnel quite soon. I think it's called London Tunnel One or whatever. Do you actually hear the tunnels? I didn't really notice them. Um, that was a bridge, and that's the tunnel. So yes, you obviously do. <laughs> the speed limit is 124 miles oh, per hour. 124? Nice. So what, you, you just did you hit G for the trade length measurement? 103 you, miles per hour. You heard that beep? 121 miles per hour. 124 miles per hour. Sign. Yes, and you can exactly. Safely speed up. Exactly. That's different on the London Underground because there you are allowed to speed up as soon as the front of the train has passed the signal. But usually it's as soon as the whole train passes the signal. Currently, this is not really something that matters because you can speed up however, however you want. But there may be a time when stuff like points and scoring are introduced, and then you might introduce rules like these to make it a bit more realistic. Yes, we might. Oh, what you completely forgot to show. The outside view. Outside. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to get to that at the end. Okay, Inside. sorry. <laughs> so, what he just so graciously already took away, we have an outside view of the train with a bunch of different views. What you can do is point your camera at the next platform, behind the train, in front of the train, or at the buffers of the train, so you can basically ride with the train. What yes. he just showed off is a view that starts at the front of the train and the train races by, and actually adapts to your speed. Now we'll change. Next station. Yeah, of course. Here you can hear absolutely nothing. We'll stand there when the train approaches. Then I'll position us at the next station so that we can hear it arrive. Regarding <coughs> regarding stations, you notice it's pretty quiet. Currently, there are no atmospheric yards ahead. Atmospheric sounds, but they will eventually. Two thousand four hundred and sixty-one yards ahead. Speed limit change to eighty-one miles per hour in sixteen forty yards ahead. The Ninety miles per hour. T V M. Seventy-one miles per hour. A uh, French miles train miles protection per system, which is in use on the HS1, just yes, told train, me to slow down. One thousand six hundred and forty yards ahead. Uh, you should bash change back to the inside. Inside. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> One thousand three hundred sixty-seven yards ahead. And approaching Stratford. Yes, and there's a 130 kilometers per hour speed ahead. limit for the, the southeast tracks. London Stratford International. Automatic speed control deactivated. The, the speed limit is 81 miles per hour. And the beeping sound we heard was the 
notification that you should engage the brakes. Yeah, I think I might have activated them a bit late, but... Okay, no, that might work out just fine. 328 yards ahead. Oh, or not, Break too finished. slow. Less than 50 miles an hour and 250 yards ahead, so... 219 yards ahead. Front. Buffers. Next station. The brakes now are already applied. Now I'm standing applied. at the station. 109 Aye, yards a ahead. Person. And I'm waiting for the incoming train. 82 yards ahead. Brakes released. 9 miles an hour currently. 55 yards ahead. There it is to our left. Can you hear the two? Ahead. Yeah. Okay, nice. 16 yards ahead. Through. Brakes applied. The brakes are already applied. Doors this open. station is London Stratford International. Yeah. You could so hear a bell hit. on the right side and I opened the right hand door. If, if you hit F6, no wait, uh, F7. Inside. 21. If you hit F7. Yeah, 21. Yeah, you're getting the passenger numbers. Uh, passengers first, uh, uh, they disembark and then new passengers arrive on the train. Exactly. Now they have finished boarding and leaving. 123. We are 123 outside. people on board. I move outside once again, close the doors and let the train leave, I think. Yeah. Or did you want to show anything else? Um, no, currently not. Doors closed. Welcome aboard the Southeastern service to Dover Priory. Okay, then. Brakes released. Listen and learn. 81 miles per hour. Automatic speed control activated. Non powered end car. And there we go. Exactly. The speed limit is one hundred and twenty four miles per hour. But I think we'll change trains now. Yeah, we can. We basically showed off the the high speed train. Break. Yes, and um, now I think we'll show off the underground. Yeah. We Break. can do that. Automatic speed control yes. deactivated. I think we need to run now. Brakes release. Oh. Break. Uh, Break. Pause and exit. Resume. Brakes applied. The uh, brakes are tried that, applied. but there seems to be some bug with the Skype system because it doesn't let me exit. Real quick? Pardon? Uh, can you hit backspace? Yeah, I can, but Alt F4 didn't do anything. So I think it's something with Skype because when I tested it before, it worked just fine. So. <laughs> brakes released. Inside, please select an entry ah, and exit game. Interesting, now it works. Interesting. Well, that's one of these inconsistencies we have to look at, but that will be looked at. Trams. Uh, I'll find out what that Subway was about. Union, Austrian, Go Transit and TFL London Underground. Please select an 19, 1970, 1992 tube, 1995 tube stock on the Northern Line. So what you will notice is that certain tube stocks are assigned to certain lines. That's because certain tube stocks only work on certain lines because they are built for those and they couldn't drive on others. So before you say that every tube stock should work on every line, well, that sadly isn't possible because, well, in reality, <laughs> one of the modern tube stocks wouldn't work on the older lines because they're, they're basically too long. <laughs> get, yes, would get stuck. True. The 2009 stock, for example, would get stuck in the curve on the back loop for Malibane, for everyone who knows the Elon Manor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's no, don't imagine that. And that's why we don't use the, 29, the 2009 stock on, on that line. So we're going to take a look at the northern line, I guess. Uh, yes, true. I like it just best. It isn't the one with the most complicated sounds. That would be the Jubilee. Or the S stock, but I kind of like the Northern Line for some reason. <laughs> okay, then let's hop in. Yeah. 
Hey, and by the way, before someone writes it in the comments, yes, I do know that it's exceptionally nerdy to have a favorite tube line, but I am a TFL nerd, so forgive me. <laughs> okay, can okay, uh, we can hit enter for to check up, like where you want to go. Northern line, Edgware and Charing Cross branches to Morden. Yes, that one or Northern line, Mill Hill East branch. That's one which is only one station. Kind of boring. <laughs> yes, you see, um, we actually uh, we try to model the tube lines as close as possible and have different branches. As where at least where we could pick up the the, the data. Yes, true. And the northern line simply is really complex in reality, because you have two central branches, two northern branches, and one or now two southern branches, and they are all connected as one line with different services, so, yeah. It's a bit complicated, but we're gonna take one of these branches and we'll get our train ready to go. Northern line, Edgware and Charing Cross branches to Kennington. Yeah, that's kind of the shortest one. We won't drive the whole route, but, yeah. Kennington is kind of nice. <laughs> like that. Okay, so... I think we'll drive one station automatically and one station manually, don't you? You can do that. Okay, nice. Then we'll get it ready. Driver's cab. Battery activated. Or battery, as it says here. That depends on the train. I don't keep in mind what it says on which train. Because it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Lights. Brakes released. Forward. As you may or may not realize, this train doesn't have a panther roof. And uh, Moritz, I think you can tell them why whilst I start driving. Well, the London Tube is powered not by, well, a pantograph, but a power rail. Outside. Inside. Which basically runs next to the track, so the train gets, it, get its, gets its power from there, not from a pantograph. This train is about to depart. Please mind the doors. Doors closed. Yes, we can. You can actually do that. You can you ha in certain trains. You can hit certain keys to uh, play <coughs> play certain announcements. Yeah, for example, like this one. Stand clear of the doors. Or this one. Customers are reminded that for their own safety, smoking is not permitted on any part of London Underground. Yeah, and what they don't say, but what I personally think is the main reason: the comfort of everyone else. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right, then let's get ready. Automatic let's... train control activated. The brakes are already released. Forward. Yeah, I activated the automatic The speed limit is 45 control. miles per hour. And now I told it to start driving. It accelerates up to 45 miles an hour. Yeah, we are driving automatically now, controlled via the ATO, automatic train operation. That is a thing of strength. Yeah, you can talk, it's only the announcements about the arts, <laughs> nothing else. Now there will be something special soon. Better to the northern line on this. This one here. The train slows down. Even though there's no station. Moritz, are you still here? Yes, I'm still here. Okay, good. <laughs> This train is about to move slowly forward and then stop suddenly. Please use any seats available or, if standing, hold on tight. Following this routine safety procedure, we will continue moving at reduced speed. Yes, this also happens in reality sometimes when the trains leave Edgware or High Barnet. So I thought, why not? Why not, why not put it into the game? Exactly. Now I have to release the brakes. The train will accelerate up to 3 miles an hour and then Activate the brakes again, and then I can depart again. Normal. Brakes released. Please mind the gap between the train uh, and the platform. Wrong one. Oh, I don't have a departure note. 
Okay. I have to leave. Without it. Brakes released. And now we are continuing with 25 miles an hour, I think. 328 yes. yards ahead. Next station will be Burnt Oak, as far as I know. And yes, it's really cold that way. Yards ahead. Good me. The next station is Burnt Oak. 109 yards ahead. The train slows down automatically. I'm ahead. not doing anything right now. <laughs> Okay. Brakes released. A bug. 55 yards ahead. Brakes applied. Brakes released. Yeah, sometimes they are yards kind ahead. of buggy. Brakes are already applied. The ATO. 16 yards ahead. But that's nothing I can do anything about. Brakes that's released. That's an in-game problem. Brakes applied. Brakes released. Brakes applied. This station. this train is about to depart. Please mind the doors. Burnt Oak. Closed. This is a Burnt Northern Oak. Line train Automatic by train Charing Cross. Sorry, Terminating I accidentally at closed the doors. This station <laughs> is Burnt Oak. This is a Northern Line train by Charing Cross. Terminating at Kennington. Yeah, well, the automatic train control still has a few bugs. Yeah, yeah but I'll fix them like somehow. It, it, it randomly starts, it starts breaking way too early. But that will be fixed. Yeah. And it only starts breaking that early after the brake test. So when you're traveling with 25 miles an hour, because with 72 kilometers per hour or 45 miles an hour, it works just fine. I don't know why. Uh, the troop does have an automatic uh, speed control, right? Uh, yes, it does. And I Good. actually wanted to use that one right now. Good. Then we turn off the automatic train con automatic train operation and hit and put punch in the. Automatic speed Three miles per hour. Yes, I 25 miles per hour. already turned off hour. the automatic train operation. I can't select 45 miles an hour. I can only select 43, but that'll have to do. So. Outside. Front. Then you can front of the train, as you can hear. This train is about to depart. Please mind the doors. Doors closed. Automatic speed control activated. Six carriage train. One thousand three hundred and sixty seven yards ahead. Inside. Outside. Back. In front of the train. Next station. One thousand and ninety four yards ahead. Please remind me to get... position myself at the next station 500 yards before the station. Because I want to show the listeners something. 820 yards ahead. Which is kind of a nice extra. Not necessary, but nice anyway. <laughs> 547 yards ahead. Oh, yeah. Outside. So the train is approaching here soon, and there'll be an announcement. 328 yards ahead. The next station is Collindale. Automatic speed yeah, control deactivated. 219 yards ahead. Northern line, the train approaching is 109 yards ahead. 82 yards ahead. Yes, and this one. 55 yards <laughs> ahead. 33 yards ahead. Brakes released. 16 yards ahead. Brakes applied. The brakes are already applied. Front. Brakes released. Not early. Yes, even though I'm the programmer of this thing, I still brakes haven't applied. gotten rid of the hang of stopping at a station. <laughs> this is a Northern Line train it's just by Charing always Cross, a challenge. terminating at Kennington. Inside. So you see. Large parts of the software are already complete, but well, the parts still need ironing out a bit. <laughs> As you see, like the atmosphere, or, like station atmosphere, is still missing, but these things will be implemented in the coming weeks. Yes. That's why we won't give out any release dates because, as a matter of fact, it wouldn't make sense because 
you still have things here and there which need uh, a bit of cleaning up and inter- and implementing. So we're gonna just say we're like we're st- we're working on it, and um, if it's there, well, it's there. Exactly. <laughs> Backward. And I also think that I won't continue to answer PMs requesting a release date. I've gotten so many of them that I'm just tired of it. Really, I'm tired of it. So please, stop sending me PMs about a release date. You can send me PMs about everything else, but not about release dates. Yeah, that would be good. Like, don't... We won't give out any release dates, even though if you even though if you ask multiple times, we can't we can't and we won't because we don't want to get rushed in producing and testing the whole thing because it's a simulation. We want to get it as close as to real life as possible, and well, we can't have rushing during these phases. Exactly, and think of it that way. Every entry of one of you or the people who we are talking to know that we are talking to them, I'm sure. Um, Every entry asking for a release date or something like that, which simply isn't predictable, costs us time to read and sometimes also to reply. Time which could be better spent programming or whatever. So the less entries you write requesting release dates, the faster the game will be up. Sure. Basically. <laughs> so, I don't know about you, but I, I got an idea. Like, do we want to show our American listener, uh, American viewers, like, a quick introduction of the New York subway? Hmm. Could of course do that. Do we? Like, we do have some, like, we could give them, like, a quick showing. Oh, yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. Please select well, metro, trams, buses, British Rail. Subway New York. Please select NYCTR 62. NYCTR 142. These are basically different subway cars at the on the New York uh, city lines. Exactly. Um, I think. NYCTR 160. Yes, we'll take this one. The R 168. Uh, F train. Select the F train. Open the doors. This is a Manhattan-bound F Express train. The next stop is West 8th Street, New York Aquarium. So Stand now get your train the ready. Doors, please. Drivers have activated. Forward. Lights. So we basically have released. three different trains. I think we have an F, a Z, and another one. Um, F, Z, and D for the R160 A and B. And for the 142A, we have the 6th train and the 42nd Street shuttle for the R62A. Yeah. Three miles per and hour. we're taking the F miles Express. 22 miles per hour. Yes, because I kind of like it. <laughs> the only reason. We're taking the F Express train to, um, and we're just going to go f- to uh, one station, like the, the aquarium. Yes, which is West 8th Street, exactly. Doors closed. Automatic speed control activated. The speed limit is 25 miles per hour. 1,094 yards ahead. Before you ask, yes, it does sound that way. Strange, yeah, I know, yeah. but... Does that sound real? That sounds real, yes. And as you notice, like, the train is still pretty loud, and that still is refining, but it will happen. Yeah, true. It is loud. <laughs> And it sounds like you're outside the train. 820 but, but yards ahead. There will be things happening. The speed limit is 37 miles per hour. Yeah, the thing is, the R168 really sounds that way. I traveled on it multiple times when I visited New York about two years ago. And yeah, I was kind of negatively surprised. I can honestly say that. Because the of the sound. 50 miles per hour. 40 miles per hour. 50 miles per hour. 328 yards ahead. The brakes are already applied. 219 yards ahead. 109 yards ahead. 82 yards ahead. 
55 yards ahead. 33 yards ahead. 16 yards ahead. Oh, believe me. I know. Damn! Yeah, well, that's the thing. Uh, the New York subway trains have the worst kind of braking. <sighs> yes, they do. But that's also true for the real ones. <laughs> yeah, well, they, you see, that's the thing. Like, you can't Outside. miss stations. Currently, it doesn't have any bad results. But, well, that might happen if we introduce scoring. True, but scoring is a thing. We are still thinking about how to actually impl implement that. But they're like, there are Office. ideas down the roadmap. In front of the train. Like, Next okay, station. like, come on, let's do. Okay, wait, let's do one more station. Let's let's do one stop at least, one good stop. Front, inside. Okay. The brakes are. Yeah, just to get their reputation back. <laughs> I have to know the neighbors. Ritman in my job description. <laughs> 19, 14 knots ahead. Outside. Back. Buffers. In front of the train. 1,640 yards ahead. Inside. Yes, that's a long trip for Yeah, 10 carriages. 1,367 <laughs> yards ahead. And the interesting thing is that the New York subway trains actually are the fastest subway trains I know. Mm, no, the s is faster. With up to 62 miles an hour. But only at the outer ends of the Metropolitan. 820 yards ahead. But yes, they certainly are quite fast. <laughs> 547 knots ahead. This is Neptune Avenue. 128 knots ahead. Big. The brakes are already applied. 219 knots ahead. Make that stop. Mm, I hope so. It would be embarrassing if not. <laughs> 55 yards ahead. 33 yards ahead. Yes. That worked just fine. We're too slow. Outside. Next station. And, uh, there's the train pulling in. The brakes are already applied. This is a Manhattan bound F Express train. The next stop is. Avenue X. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. And everyone who X. didn't know that we were in New York until now, now knows it. <laughs> yeah. So, that's a quick view on Transport World Simulator for you, just as, uh, just as well promised. As you, as you said, there are still some bugs to be ironed out that we are on it. Yes, exactly. Um, yeah. Just, I just say goodbye now, and as the last thing in the video, like we'll hear the question. subway train leave, I think. And if you have any questions and comments, I will just post them in the topic that we'll create and post the demo in. Just ask and then give suggestions and, and, and whatnot. Yeah, exactly. But no questions about release dates, you know. Yeah, no questions about releases, but like anything, anything else goes. But yeah, except that one thing. <laughs> yeah. So, thanks for watching, listening, not listening, whatever. Don't know. And have a good evening. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. And now here, the train depart for the last time. Doors closed. Automatic speed control activated. One thousand six hundred and forty yards ahead. Status monitor deactivated.
1367 yards ahead.